today's video, we're going to be working on scientific notation. We're going to write each number in standard notation. On the right hand side, I have some notes, so make sure go ahead and write it down on a piece of paper so you remember. When you move the decimal point to the left, the exponent will be negative. When you move the decimal point to the right, the exponent will be positive. There can only be, again, one number in front of the decimal point, like I put an example of 1.25. For number one, we have 5.12 times 10 to the fourth power. So since we know it's gonna be positive, we're gonna move the decimal point to the right. How many times? Whatever is in the exponent, which is here, four. So we can start by putting 512, and then we're gonna go here and say one, two, three, and four. So we moved it four spaces. So we know we're just gonna add a zero and a zero. So you can go ahead and add zero, two zeros. One, two, three. So your answer is gonna be 51,200. For number two, you have 7.13 times 10 to the negative two. So we're gonna be moving it to our left. So we move it to the left, we move it one time, two times. I'm putting a zero there, and the decimal goes there. So that's just point zero seven three for our answer, and put a zero in there, okay? Now, for number three, we have 4.39 times 10 to the sixth power. So we can go ahead and write four, three, nine, and we know we need one, two. We moved there already two. So how many more zeros are we gonna put to add to get to four? It's gonna be four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. So our answer is gonna be four million three hundred and ninety thousand. Okay? And if you think it's so difficult, go ahead and go back on the video and review one, two, and three again. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the like. And subscribe button for example four five and six go ahead and challenge yourself go ahead and press pit pause on the video then you can go ahead and press play and see if you got the same answers that I have if not go ahead and check where you did your mistakes okay so we'll start for number four we have 3.47 times 10 to the negative six power so we know when it's a negative we're gonna move it to the left so we will really move it one time so we know that we can go ahead and write 347, and we moved it one time. So how many more zeros are we gonna put to get to six? Hopefully you said five. Put one, two, three, four, five, point zero. And that should be your answer, okay? So for number five, we have 7.11 times 10 to the third power. So we can go ahead and just write 711. Are we gonna go to the left or are we gonna go to your right? Hopefully you said to your right, because it's a positive. And then we're gonna go ahead and move it one, two, three times. So we're gonna add a zero here. So your answer is gonna be 7,110, okay? For number six, we have, same thing, you can go ahead and write 432. Are we gonna move it to the left or we'll move it to the right? Hopefully you moved it to the left because it's a negative. So you moved it one, two, three. Just add the zeros there, add another zero. So we're gonna add two more zeros, point zero, and that should be your answer, okay? If not, if you're still getting a little bit confused with this, watch the video as many times as you can so you can get better in it. And don't forget to share to, the friend, to your friends that you think they need help on this. And once again, thank you for watching.